So hey, so you know, got in this morning at about, I don't know, 6 a.m. Uh, sun's starting to rise now. It gets me thinking a little bit. Um, I got to work yesterday at about 6 a.m. and uh, out and about throughout the day interacting with clients, TV shoots, a lot of different things. Left the office last night at about 8. Um, why, right? Um, why do I say this? Why, am I, would, why would I record something like this? I think it's this. Uh, I'm not looking for some kind of, uh, I don't think there's any admiration or any respect that comes from something like that. I think that, uh, in fact, most people would watch uh, somebody say something like that and say, ah, oh, workaholic, no work-life balance, uh, and those types of things. So I know it actually brings on more criticism. I actually have friends uh, who haven't tried to launch a business, who haven't done the startup thing, who uh, would say, you know, who would actually genuinely worry for me and say, Lynn, I'm worried you're going to burn out or worried that, you know, uh, you're doing damage in other places. And all I can say to that is this. First of all, thank you for the, uh, for the concern. And secondly, there's no other way to do it. Like, I don't know anything about launching a business other than what I've learned, asked, you know, listened, studied. And everything I've listened, learned, studied has told me that, you know, you have got to be all in. I gave up a lot to start this company. My family gave up a lot to start this company. Uh, I have a son who, who, who works with me. In fact, you know, one full-time and I have one part-time that works with me. Um, people that, like, came to work and took a chance on a startup with a guy who had never done a startup. I owe it to them to work crazy hours. I owe it to them for those 15, 16 hour days. And then I go home and of course, anybody who's ever done this knows you don't shut it off when you get home either. But maybe uh, even more importantly, the clients, the customers that have, uh, have trusted this company, a company that didn't exist 16, 18 months ago, they've trusted their passion, all of their life's work into our hands. I owe it to them to outwork everyone else. And anyone who really knows me knows how competitive I am, and that's what drives me every single day. I have a good friend of mine who says, Lane, what do you do in the office on a Saturday at 6 a.m., you know, as I'm watching the sun now start to rise here on a Saturday? Well, you know, it's hard to explain. You know, I will do some accounting today. I'll do some administrative work. I'll do some creative brainstorming. Um, uh, I will run some reports. I will take some online courses. Uh, I will do some creative writing on behalf of our clients. I will do some creative ad design on behalf of this company. That's, all those things will happen today. I have to grind that hard if I stand a chance. Having been in media and marketing my whole life, I have worked with so many business owners so many guys who went through this, so many women who went through this, and when you ask them, they all say the same thing. Hey, congratulations. Now that you own your own business, you'll get to pick the 20 hours a day you work. Um, they have told me, if you, if you aren't willing to put in the work, your chances of making it are slim. So I'm very proud of where this company is, a uh, little over a year into it. So excited, so proud of the people that I work with and the things that they do creatively, but also the work and the time they put in. And I'm just so excited for our clients because I know every day we get better, we do better for them. And I want everybody that I ever work with to know that uh, you will never work side by side with somebody who will work harder. That is a guarantee I can make and I uh, challenge anyone to hold me accountable to that.